it's been a while. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I posted, but we are going to get right back into it with some questions for twins. This is my twin sister, Cheyenne. Um, I'm Pegas, and let's get into these questions. Perfect. <laughs> since we're twins, I can open up her phone. <laughs> <laughs> that has happened before for both of our phones, though. Question number one. Who's the oldest? I'm the oldest. You came out first, so. Much to our dismay of our little brother. Brody did want to be first. Yeah, he did. He, I don't know if he could handle it. I, I, to be honest with you, it's a burden. I don't know if he could handle it. Yeah. Question number two. Favorite memory together? Ooh. Okay, you go first. Because I think mine's going to hurt your feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Is it when I was taking pictures? Yes. Oh my god, I just knew. <laughs> Um, my favorite memory together is any time that Shy is putting on shoes because like one time she was putting on shoes and she was trying on all of her shoes because we were going on a trip and I had to ask her to stop because my head was throbbing so hard from laughing. I couldn't see. I'm pretty sure I had an aneurysm and I plopped, popped three blood vessels in my eyes. It was like so funny. It's just so unfortunate that we were in a Ross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were tearing that place up okay my favorite memory so i we have had so many good memories together like so many hilarious iconic memories but this one makes me laugh every time i think about it so i have to i have to tell it so Pecos was taking some pictures of us when we were in Colorado. It was such a fun, fun trip. A lot of crazy stuff happened that trip, but it was fun, like, just overall. <laughs> <laughs> and Pegas was taking some pictures of my husband and I, kind of like beautiful background scenery stuff, but it was snowy and icy. So whoa, whoa, let me just <laughs> preface this with, there, it was a hot tub. And we were in the hot tub the night before being idiots and splashing around water. And the next morning, all that water froze on this concrete slab that the thing was, the hot tub was sitting on. Yes. And so after Pecos takes the picture, he's like so excited about it. So he runs over to us and just slips, like full speed slips, feet fly up, like full banana peel style. And he lands on his back so hard that he loses his breath and he just starts making, <laughs> he just starts making these terrible noises. It was like, <laughs> 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 and to this day, I cannot make it through just barely thinking about that without losing my mind. I was so scared for my life, the genuine fear. <laughs> That I couldn't breathe. And I couldn't breathe because I was laughing so hard. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question number three. Describe each other's dream jobs. Mm. Not working. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like definitely yours would be content creating. I think that's been your dream for a long time. And you've worked really hard at it. You've gotten a lot better at it. Like, you've kept pushing yourself to learn new things and try new things. So, I still hold out that that's going to happen for you, for sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, I would say your dream job would be to be, like, Anna Wintour or something. Oh, that would be fun. I feel like you would definitely rock the Devil Wears Prada. I would. I would. I, that's why I feel like you always close the movie when, before it ends. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, you made the wrong decision. <laughs> yes. Are you talking about at the end whenever Andy throws her phone into the... Yeah, she should have just kept going with that. And just like... I mean, she had the experience at that point, And she should have just went and got and her bag. Vogue magazine technically is journalism. So she could have gone. Yeah. I mean, she could have done a ton of stuff. Mm-hmm. She made a lot of wrong decisions. She did. The she end. did. Who takes longer to get ready? Definitely me. If I like am wanting to sit down and put some effort into it, maybe put on a movie or some music or something, I could probably spend upwards of two and a half or three hours getting ready. Easy. Easy. If I really wanted to make a meal out of it. I think the longest I take to get ready would probably be like an hour. 
Yeah, that, that that's everything. like shower to out the door for you. Yeah. Do you have anything matching? What don't we have that's not matching? I was matching? about to say. It we cracks have... me up every time we go to a job and we always either are wearing all black, black and green, or sometimes... It's navy. Yes. Yes, every time. We got the same pairs of shoes, mm -hmm. the same shorts. We have the same wallets. Yes. We have the same... The only thing that we have different, I would say, is like our phones. Because like, this is like Shai's phone. And... Um, like we can just tell our phones apart because we have different phone cases. Yeah, but, but other than that, we're like reaching for each other's stuff all the all time. All the time. Because it's just like all the same. Yes. Do you ever dress alike? That's kind of like number five because like we will, we'll like wear the same jeans and mm -hmm. shirt or um, shorts and like t-shirt combo. Mm -hmm. And like what that one time, so I got to the Airbnb that we were staying at. And I walked through the door, and we were like Spider Man pointing at each other, meme, because we were wearing the exact same clothes, and we had no contact. What were we with wearing? Each other. We were wearing a black shirt and tan shorts. Yes. And flip flops. Yes. I will say, like, if our clothes or if our stuff isn't matching one hundred percent, we're at least in the color same coordinated vibe or yeah. color coordinated. Yes. It's weird. How do you would describe each other with? Oh, like our relationship. I just think it says like the song you would describe each other. Like I guess the song that you would use to describe each other. Mm, okay. Definitely Casey Musgraves. Yeah, I'm like Casey's songs are like the titles are escaping me right now, but there's one where she's like happy and sad at the same time or something like that. <laughs> I would say that that one pretty well describes you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A song that I would use to describe you would be um first of all it's just so hard to describe me period I, that's exactly what was running through <laughs> my mind um my life would suck without you by kelly Clark. <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know let's see it's hard to pick a favorite artist for you because you steamroll through so many of them. And the genres are really, really crazy. Crazy. Yes. It would have to be like some kind of eccentric type of song that I'll probably edit in after this video. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? For me, what would best describe me? Not to get sad, but I honestly think Cardigan by Taylor Swift is a pretty good one. I'm so Sorry. <laughs> is, it, is it time for therapy? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That's a good song, though. It's such a good song. I'll listen to it when I'm happy. Uh, yeah, when I'm I sad. Mean, but when like, I'm awake. When I'm tired. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it like the talking about being a cardigan under someone's bed and I mean just like everything. It it just makes me think of myself. Yeah. Question number eight. One thing that you can do well that the other can't. She can read and I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> Me reading this. She can read. <laughs> you go first. It's going to be hard for you. <laughs> oh my god. Um. <laughs> walk down her front staircase. Oh, no, fall it! <laughs> You're gonna give me the hiccups! <laughs> okay, your turn. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, no. I won't say that. Just say it. No, I can I edit it out. I won't. <laughs> okay. It's to me. It's not even true. <laughs> <laughs> and just to be honest with you, like, my Virgo tendencies are coming out, so I was like, Really? <laughs> I'm scared to let that arrow fly if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I will say I can cook. And you seem to struggle. I can cook spaghetti. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> what I mean. I have at least two dishes under my belt. <laughs> to be fair, they're both pasta. One is spaghetti and the other is goulash. <laughs> the goulash. Yes. Okay, I'll give you that one. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Number nine. Do you have the same personalities? You gave me the hiccups. <laughs> <laughs> but yes. Okay, wait. <laughs> Not personality wise, I mean, yes, we are like we do have the same personality, but earlier today we were on the phone with uh our hairstylist, oh, our yeah. hairstylist, mm -hmm. um, and we were switching the phone back and forth talking. And I felt and so she, bad for her, mm -hmm. she just thought it was one person the whole time. And she, she was like, Is this Cheyenne? Is this Pegas? And I'm like, I'm so sorry, <laughs> she <laughs> shouldn't have jumped in here, but she witnessed that. Because we oh, yeah. pranked Tyler where I was pretending. <laughs> yes, I forgot about that. Okay, you gotta tell that story. Okay, so Shy was getting a blowout, so obviously it was really loud. And I answered the phone and was pretending to be Shy. And then, like, I don't know, like one minute into it, I was like, okay, Shy, you gotta take this over because <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> but, like, she Shai witnessed. did not know. The whole time. We never told him. He's gonna find out. I forgot to tell him. Yeah. No, it's like. And, like, I was just kind of planning on answering the phone and then being like, oh, here's Shai. But, like, it kind of went on. It, and I was like, yeah. I mean, nothing weird happened, but, like, it was just like, okay. <laughs> what really upsets him is whenever you do the Snapchat filter okay. that gives you hair and everything yeah. and takes away your beard, that tears him up. Because it, we, we looked, looked so much alike. Identical. Yes. It's like, I could, like... I could send a picture of Shy and she'd be like, when did I take that? And I'm like, that's me with a wig on. <laughs> <laughs> and same for me, though. Whenever I do the bro Snapchat filter, I, it, your beard and everything looks yeah. just like you. Yeah, it is weird. And the silliest question about being twins. Are you guys twins? <laughs> Wait, what is the silliest question that we've ever been asked? I feel like that. I one... think it cracks me up when people ask if we're related. It's yeah. like, he, obviously. No, what's funny is some people will think that we're married and they'll be like, y'all look identical. Like, it's so weird that y'all are married. And then it's like, mm, it's weird that you it, think it's we're weird married. that, yeah. <laughs> Number 11. Describe each other in three words. Lao. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to be my word for you, too. <laughs> um. I would say, what's another word for smart? Like, oh, strategic? Mm hmm Um, what's another word for reading? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're strategic? And I'm trying to say something. Okay. It's like... <laughs> Can you describe it? It's like you're a sponge for knowledge. What does that mean? Oh, all of a sudden, I have no knowledge. <laughs> it's like anything. Kept, I could catch her reading about, like, the ingredients on hairspray or something. <laughs> She's like, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, but I'm a nerd. I love to, like, soak up stuff. But that's what I'm saying. It's, like, not just about one thing. It's about everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard in here. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> there okay. is a word for that. Yes. And you do one more word. Okay. Or was loud your really your word? No. <laughs> I'll give you another one. <laughs> We're yelling right now. I think it's a fair word. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> That's like our same word. Yes, yes. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, loud for you as well. I mean, just you can tell from this video that we are loud AF. We're trying to be quiet, y'all. <laughs> Whenever I film a TikTok straight in the TikTok app, noise reducer is automatically thrown on my video. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Do you really that loud? I don't even get a chance. Yes, for real. It goes straight from recording to noise reducer. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Every time I'm humbled. Um, or whenever we're like just staying up and like messing around whenever you come down and visit and Ty's trying to go to bed. Oh, what about that one time that we were trying to put those shelves up in my spare room <laughs> for the TV? <laughs> Okay, I will say that's very situational, though, because we were quiet, just the power tools are making a lot of noise. <laughs> and then we had to pretend to go to sleep. <laughs> we just fell on the floor. <laughs> well, like, it was so funny because we made a louder noise than we had been. I can't remember if I, like, hit the wall or something like that, but then I heard the bed creak and I was like, shit. <laughs> Okay, 
let me get to your words. Okay, thank you. Um, <laughs> you're very loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, like, you are not surprisingly intelligent, but, like... <laughs> The, but you surprise me with the things that you know. Like, you will look at something and you'll know how to fix it or you'll know what to do to figure out to fix it. Like, you can... F the way that you just, like, look at something and figure it out is crazy to me. Because, like, where you were talking about where I'm, like, reading all the time, I don't have that. Where you, Whereas, like, you would rather not read, you'd rather put your hands on it. And, like, that is mind-blowing to me. We were in a Cracker Barrel one time... And I was waiting for There's our food. absolutely no telling what you're fixing to say. <laughs> we were waiting for our food. And, um, you know, like the butters that they give you, I was stacking them up and making a little pyramid. <laughs> and then Shy dead ass looked me in the eye and was like, why must you build? It was, I felt like it was a fair question. <laughs> I was like, I'm bored, bitch. Like, why don't you I, read okay, the menu again? You, you have been building since mm. you had, like, functions of your little fingers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Am I on two or three? Two. I have given... Loud and surprisingly intelligent. <laughs> yes. It's, it's a shock to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the third one I would say is... Happy isn't the word I'm looking for, but like you are a showstopper. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> type of person that whenever you walk into a room like people do notice you and like they're so happy you're there like maybe happy is the word but people just like gravitate towards your energy and I feel like for me it's the opposite people are like get me the fuck away from this bitch I know from personal experience but that's not true <laughs> maybe that's in my head <laughs> yeah everyone corners you <laughs> and it's like I need to talk to her like I'm like oh she's mean <laughs> Three <clears throat> words to describe the whole family is big, loud, and scary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boy, do we tower over everyone. Yes. Okay, number 12. One thing that annoys you about each other. Just one? No. <laughs> I've got a laundry list. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm burning it down. I'm burning it down. <laughs> I feel like the thing that annoys each other for both of us could be, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> could be the same because we both go through these zoomy phases <laughs> but the other one's never in the mood for it. <laughs> whenever but when we are, are both in the mood insanity is ins like full-blown feral yes yes but I don't, that doesn't like really annoy me i just kind of have to sit there and wait for you to be done <laughs> and vice versa <laughs> You cannot blame me for that one because even you're like, is this what it sounds like whenever I do this to you? <laughs> like, yes, bitch. <laughs> um, okay. The thing that annoys me about you is that you fail to realize your potential and have confidence in yourself. And it should be the exact opposite. Like the world is literally your oyster. I do like oysters. That's disgusting. <laughs> I kind of feel the same way about you, just to be honest. Mm -hmm. You doubt yourself so hard. Sometimes I'll just put on a fake front and just be scared shitless, but you're like, I can't do this. And I'm like, I 100% know you can. <laughs> I and I'm just talking about going into the grocery <clears throat> store. <laughs> oh my God, though, seriously. It is mostly to do with people. That is where yeah. I like really shut down. It's crazy because we in high school we were so heavily involved in stuff. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought that growing going into a grocery store would bring so much anxiety to me. I feel like a little bit. Oh, the gym for me for oh, sure. The, frick, I can't go by myself. Go. Yes, I hate it. I have to. Go. I commend Brody for going by himself mm -hmm. sometimes because like I'm like I couldn't if I was by myself. I'll just do some push ups here, like yeah. in the apartment. Yeah, or I just won't work out. Yeah. Okay, number 13. Nicknames you have for each other. <laughs> shy Shy. <laughs> she She. <laughs> um, That's a funny story. <laughs> Whenever you get done with your list, go ahead and continue. Wait, shy Shy. She She. <laughs> You've called me some other stuff too. You've called me China. <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking country. 
country, apparently. <sighs> um, <clears throat> okay, my nicknames for you are Pepe, Pepperoni, uh, Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> Uh, PP, <laughs> um, anything but your name, really. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, but the story is whenever I was like, does it, oh, uh, because Ty is, <laughs> Ty is TT to Pegasus, and Pegasus is PP to Ty. And so I was like, does it bother you that he calls you PP, like, penis? <laughs> And Pegasus was like, actually, no, is because we're both urine, if you think about it. So what does it matter? Because <laughs> it's probably the top three funniest things you've ever said to me. The crazy thing is, I remember this exact moment, and I don't remember any thoughts running through my head before saying that out loud. That's what I'm saying. You're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I feel like we bounce off of each other so well. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why it's hard. I was talking about this on a TikTok live the other day. That's why it's hard, like, when I'm by myself to do something like this because I'm such a situational, like, other people, like, my acting skills or whatever, like, get so much better when I'm around someone else. Mm -hmm. And, like, I commend people, like, that can sit in front of a camera and really act their heart out by themselves because I'm, like, yeah. I just can't do it. And I, for like, I force myself to do it, but, like, it comes with a lot of force. Yeah, for sure. Okay, number 14. What do you order at fast food restaurants? Ooh, what don't I order? Let's do some of the basics. I'm mm -hmm. going to hit Panda Express or uh, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, Panda Express, Chick-fil-A, Rosa's. Dude, Rosa's for some breakfast tacos or some enchiladas. I had no idea that Rosa's had breakfast tacos like that. They're so, so good. Well, I guess let's go off of those three and pick. Okay. So, Panda... I get the plate. I, I, first of all, I walk in. I go to the back of the line. <laughs> that is out the door every freaking Why time. Why is it always like that? I've never... The one that where I live, it's never like that. I don't know. I guess because... There's no drive through there, well, Yeah, there's no drive through And then the one that's over on Bosky, there's no drive through either. So that one is always a line at the door, too. And it really is like drive through central. Yes, <laughs> and it makes me so jealous. I'm like, why can't I get a 44-ounce Coke and a bag of jerky in the drive through I don't know. But anyways, at Panda Express, I'll get the plate, and then I'll get a uh, string bean chicken and um, beef and broccoli, and then I'll do half of uh, chow mein and half of the super greens, and whenever you mix all that together, it is so good. It is so good. And then, oh, oh you go ahead for your panda. Okay. From Panda Express, I will, after I walk in and get in line, of course. Um, I, <laughs> you don't um, walk in. You go through the drive through because <laughs> it's a privilege and you need to use it. I don't think I've ever been inside of a Panda Express. <laughs> I feel like you haven't been inside a lot of places. Oh, I've been inside the one here. Because but you were forced. Yes, it was, it's yes. because it was a very like gunpoint option that I had. Yes. Um, I get... Teriyaki chicken, no teriyaki sauce, just like raw dog in that chicken, and then I will get um, orange I'm chicken, him, just like <laughs> orange chicken or general general sal chicken because I like the spicy kind of. Ooh, general sal is good too. You know what also is really good is orange chicken and just white rice. Mm. That like mixes really well together. Yeah, um, and then I'll get half chow mein and half fried rice, and then mm. sometimes I'll get like an order of spring rolls or something. Oh, yeah, their spring rolls are always, like, so crunchy. And I don't know what it is about Panda Express that makes me crave Orange Fanta so bad. Oh, But that's the only time I have an Orange Fanta is with Panda Express. I know. It's, it's so good, though. Okay, Chick-fil-A. I like the spicy deluxe chicken sandwich. Just all the way. Whatever vegetables they got back there, throw them on there. Um, and then a 12 count of the nuggets and one to five of every sauce available <laughs> to me. <laughs> Oh, and a frosted lemonade and the waffle fries, obviously. Yeah. Do they have other options for sides or it's just the waffle fries, right? I think if they have like a super green salad or something like that. And um, obviously like you could do apple slices for kids. And then I think they also have um, chicken noodle soup. Uh, I'm running through the menu. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, there's some other things I'm not thinking of. 
Macaroni and cheese. Oh, oh my, my gosh, god, it is so good. How did I forget about that as a side? Oh, why do I ever get that? I, I'm obsessed it's with macaroni delicious. and cheese. Delicious. It actually the hack with putting the nuggets and the mac and cheese and the buffalo sauce together. It's pretty good. Tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow is Saturday, not Sunday. Yeah. And we have to be in town anyways. Yeah. All right. All That's right. where we're going. Um, panda for breakfast, chicken. <laughs> what was the third option? Roses? Yes. Okay. Um, so. switch that around. Roses for breakfast. <laughs> breakfast. Yes. Okay, there we go. All right. And then Chick fil A for lunch and then panda for dinner. Yes, that's the perfect day, day. to be honest yeah. with you. Um, from Chick fil A, I will get. What? <laughs> it makes me think of Miss Congeniality where it's like, the perfect date would be April 17th because it's not too hot I, and it's not too cold. cold. <laughs> All you would need is a light like, jacket. So, yeah, or it was perfect, perfect, <laughs> perfect movie. Okay, anyways, um, where are we, Roses? No, I haven't given any of my orders yet. Oh, okay, go Except ahead. Except for, I, I did Panda Express, so now it's time for Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> from Chick-fil-A, I will get the spicy chicken sandwich, not deluxe. I don't like the cheese on there. If, if I could have a deluxe without the cheese, then I would be like, yes, and just give me all the vegetables. You can do that. Oh, well, I might do that tomorrow then. Yeah. Because the lettuce sounds delicious. It is it is delicious. Okay. What do you have against cheese? Because you don't like provolone on your tuna sandwich from Subway either. There's just certain things that <laughs> shouldn't have cheese on okay, tuna. But, but, <laughs> but, the <laughs> the <laughs> but the provolone cheese is perfect because it's not too cheesy. And then if you get it toasted, it's a tuna melt. <laughs> I'm just joking. That's, that's too far. That gave me the hiccups again. Good. <laughs> um, a spicy chicken sandwich with mayo. Or, well, actually, I love to put the... Ch- <laughs> <laughs> I love to put the Chick-fil-A sauce on my spicy chicken sandwich with some yeah. pickles. Oh, and then I'll get the three-count oh. chicken strips with them. <laughs> it looks like you're about to blow chunks everywhere. <laughs> Night. Um, and then I'll get the spicy, or, or not spicy, the regular three count. Um, oh, chicken I forgot strips. about chicken strips too. You know what? One of everything. One of everything. Can't yeah. go wrong. Even the grilled nuggets are good. I will say. Yes, they're so good. Which is weird because, like, normally. Actually, I I have had that kill. Ugh, prick. I have had that kale super green salad or whatever they call it, and it's pretty good. The vinaigrette that they put on top is pretty delicious with the grilled chicken nuggets. If you're doing like a little carb cut situation, it's pretty all right. Where are we going next? Rosa's? Okay. At Rosa's, am I going all out or am I just getting a normal person meal? <clears throat> just whatever. Whatever I could like eat in that sitting. Or whatever you, when you walk in there, what's your go-to meal slash order? <clears throat> what's out there? I'm just making sure the phone's recording. Oh, okay. The pumpkin video really <laughs> messed me you in. up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, well then, like my go-to, probably my favorite thing that isn't a breakfast taco. It's just so hard because their tortillas are so good. <laughs> it's a tortilla factory. <laughs> it is what was that spider? Right, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of being through the roof, <laughs> I'm gonna put like a suspense sound to that. <laughs> that would have been a problem for everybody. Too. <laughs> I would have made sure it was everyone's problem. <laughs> I knew that candle would just have to go everywhere. Yes, and we'd be like on when um, Topper burned down the yeah. Mm. But anyways, at Rosa's, <clears throat> I love the enchiladas. And then you get the beans and the rice and you mix the beans. I'm really about mixing things together. Alan, I really like to mix the beans and rice and then dip the enchilada in there. Or oh. put the salsa. Hold on, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> or put the salsa on the beans and rice and then dip your chip in there. That's pretty delicious. I will say. Or <laughs> get the queso and put the salsa and the queso in the beans and rice. <laughs> Just mix it all up. It's so... Don't look at me like that. Okay, we're going to Rose's tomorrow, too, and you're going to try this. You put ketchup in gravy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On a chicken fried steak? That is delicious. Um, well, I can't even think anymore. <laughs> oh, no, I've broke this programming. <laughs> I will say you changed my life, and you showed me the refried beans and um, rice with a chip. It's delicious. It is delicious. Yeah. Especially if you get enchiladas and they put that small portion of salad on there and you just all of it. 
And it's like a little bit of the crunch, the crunch from the lettuce. Yeah. yeah. If there's guac on the freaking plate. <laughs> over. What are you angry about? <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> um. Now, what do you want to order from Rosa's? Um, I always get the crunchy tacos. Mm. That's like a go-to order for me because it makes me feel like a child. Either that or the enchiladas. Yeah. Or sometimes even both. Like, I'll just be like, give me the two crunchy tacos and throw an enchilada in there. Yeah. Just so I can have everything. Well, it's so convenient because you know they have everything pre-cooked back there. Nothing is fresh there except for the tortillas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for the tortillas literally coming out while you're walking down the <laughs> aisle. <laughs> so it's like, just give me whatever you got back there under the yeah. warmer. Yeah. <laughs> Number 15. Favorite thing about each other? Um, that one's kind of hard. I'm going to ignore that sound. Uh, okay. <laughs> it was out the window? Yeah. Sounded like a clicker. If I'm being completely honest with you, it was terrifying. That, like, clicking noise that they make? <laughs> you better quit. <laughs> um... <clears throat> That's actually a hard question because you're one of my favorite people. <laughs> I feel like if you weren't my best friend, I would have no one to talk to. <laughs> I would just be alone with Louie in my apartment. <laughs> um, my favorite thing about you is you're down for anything. <laughs> Sitting in probably the biggest thing that you were down for that you probably shouldn't have been down for, which is this entire office filming setup. <laughs> I got some kind of skin disease. <laughs> no, we know what it is. Yeah, it, it was poison, poison ivy. Just like straight up. I was like, shy, this, what is this beautiful plant? <laughs> well, like, we <laughs> actually, like, looking back at it, we should have known by, like, all the little spindles growing off of it onto the shed. Yeah. And that was a red flag for sure. Yeah. Also, like, the shape of it was definitely just poison ivy. Yeah. I'll, like, insert a image of me going through that time in my life. Oh, do you still have those pictures of your of chest my chest? Stuff? Yeah. Oh they my got God. on my chest, on my chin. <clears throat> it spread to my stomach around, like, this part. Oh, my God. I felt so bad. Yeah. And some other areas that I can't mention online. Um, I was scared for you. And then I also was having, like, respiratory issues. I can't believe you're that allergic to it and, like, it barely bothered me. I know. I think it was on my hand for a while. It was just, like, mildly itchy, though. Yeah, you straight up, like, picked it up and then threw it in the pile. Mm -hmm. And then picked it up again and put it in the trash can. Picked it up again and was, like, playing with the roots. <laughs> she was like, what is this beautiful <laughs> plant? <laughs> and I had just barely grabbed it and pulled I... it off and set it on the ground. And then I was just <laughs> in flames. Oh, my God. Okay, anyways, your turn. <laughs> um, my favorite thing about you is your willingness to, like, really commit to a joke or something. Because, like, you, whatever goes in your mind, you just say it out loud. And just the way you deliver it will be the <laughs> funniest thing I've ever heard slash seen in my entire life. It's because you like dry humor. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I just this one time I just feel like if someone was like can you make like a five to ten second like intro of what it's like to be around your sister I just had this one clip in my mind of her when we were on the trip to Canada she found these broken sunglasses in the back seat and put them on <laughs> and they were like crooked and she was like doing this with her mouth and just like turned over <laughs> swear like that I, tore you up yeah i could not breathe <laughs> this was one of the moments where you really think that you're gonna die laughing because you can't catch your breath <laughs> okay but that goes back to the whole thing with the shoes i wasn't doing a bit <laughs> she was just being herself and I just get, it, get it together so it's the, un it's the unintentional funniness. Yes. <laughs> no, she'll be putting on a shoe and be like, oh my God, where's my debit card or something? <laughs> it's like, what the hell? I, I think I get that from mom. <laughs> Probably. Mom. mom. <laughs> Hi, 
has the funniest sense of humor. Yes. Because it's like you don't expect it because like that's your mom, you know? And yeah. like we always like see your mom like a businesswoman slash just like a super motherly figure. Yeah. So when she says something hilarious, it like gets us rolling on the floor because like we don't expect it. And I, mother, I'm so sorry, but whenever she gets hurt. <laughs> trail of her hair but then also her first instinct is to be like piss <laughs> like in a smoker's voice <laughs> and we're just sitting over there like because we don't laugh because she's in pain but it's <laughs> it's like some old southern man <laughs> named George comes out of her body for a second <laughs> I was thinking about this one time dad was like help mom get into the truck so <laughs> and all I did was hold the door open she her head so hard on the truck <laughs> she was like pissed <laughs> and then dad was like what did you do I was like she did not touch her <laughs> oh my god oh you weren't there for this one and she's gonna kill me she's going to murder me <laughs> but I went and picked her up from sur- like sh- <laughs> She had some, uh, like, a little surgery done in her arms. So, this poor woman that I love so much, she gets out of my car and she can't put her arms down, so she's just like this. And, like, her face is like this. (laughs) And her hair is all over the place i'm like damn did it grow 30 inches while you were under what the hell is going on and you, you know that um me that I'm gonna gift. Put it in. okay thank you please <laughs> but that gif of the brave girl where she's like there's something wrong with her she's glitching and her eyes are bugging out and like her arms are like this that is what she looks like and i had to walk her through the hotel lobby like this and i was like okay take a step forward let's go <laughs> It was so bad. It was so funny, though. Were you trying hard not to laugh, or were you just... I had to turn around. I had to... I, I turned around, and I was like, immediately... I, I couldn't let her see me laughing at her, and she was, like, fresh off the table. I feel like she would have peed her pants if it was the other way around. Oh, my God. Yes. Okay, let me tell a little story on myself now. So, we were building a fence at an old property that we had a long time ago, and um, we were using... That, that noise really just took me off my train of thought. What? That clicker noise? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you putting your shoes on? No, I'm oh. just getting ready. <laughs> okay, should I lock the door? I, I don't know. Do they know how to open doors? You know what? I bet it's that possum. Do they click? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Possums click. <laughs> <laughs> what was I talking about? You were oh, using a T-post driver. Yes, okay, so I was using a T-post driver, and I missed going down onto the T-post, and it <laughs> caught the top, and I brought it down on my head so hard, I knocked myself out. <laughs> Fell down on the ground, out cold. I do not remember what, I don't rem- I don't remember anything after, like, seeing the T-post driver coming towards my head, and then waking up on the ground. And mom was about to pee her pants she was laughing so hard it's where you like blacked out like you could still hear no oh you you couldn't hear anything i was conked out okay yeah i don't remember hearing anything it was all black and then but i her laughing woke me up i have a story like that kind of similar (laughs) um I was watering the horses, and we, it's a fenced-in property, and there's one long line of electrical fence at the top to keep them from reaching over <clears> and eating <throat> the grass on the other side and, like, breaking the fence. So, <clears throat> my dumb ass was filling up the water <laughs> right next to the electrical fence, and I was like, let me just rest real fast. <laughs> no. And I had my hand in the water, oh my God. flung me across the <laughs> pasture. I'm not even kidding you. And then the thing that I woke up to was mom, like, she was bent over with her hands between her legs, trying not to laughing. Think, yeah. And I could have been dead. <laughs> Your first mistake was trying to take a rest. Yeah. Well, the thing was, though, is that I could still hear 
I just couldn't see or move. I hit myself hard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have never experienced that again in my life. <laughs> I hit myself that hard. That might be a good thing. <laughs> that, How many hits like that do you get? <laughs> One. One. That was it. And thank God it was on my very young noggin. Hmm. Okay, guys. So that was all of our 15 questions for twins. And a lot of bonus content. Yeah. We went off on several tangents, tangents. and rabbit trails and things like that. Yes. Um, Very personal information was given out today. So. If you don't hear from us again, it was our mother. Mother. Yeah. <laughs> And she probably got like a 30 inch bust down weave <laughs> from this. <laughs> um, but those are our questions and I hope you guys enjoyed us just, I mean, we were just shooting the shit and <laughs> kicking the bucket or whatever. Kicking the bucket! What does that mean? <laughs> that means dying! <laughs> oh, I didn't know <laughs> But we were just shooting the shit. Okay. Just, we were just, just shooting the shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, um, but thank you guys for coming along with us. Those are our questions. And I hope that you all have a good day. And tell your brother or sister or whatever that you love them. Because at the end of the day, they are your built-in best friend. So thank you guys. Bye. Bye. I feel like we have a lot of stuff to edit out of that 23 minutes. Yeah. One minute and 43 seconds of it is just sitting in the camera up. <clears throat> and there are lots of vaping and nose picking and mm -hmm. nose scratching on my end. Number 12. I hope I'm in frame.